Well, hi everyone. Welcome to a Yorkshire Gamer, and uh, I'm going to do a series of videos um, over the next uh, few days um, in relation to a, a set of rules called Ferozio, and or similar pronunciation. I'm sure my Italian is bad as ever. Uh, and this is for uh, the Italian Wars. Uh, those of you who are regular followers of the blog will have seen uh, me build up an Italian Wars army for the Papal States um, over the last year. And um, we've been practicing or having a bit of a play test um, with a set of rules. And uh, we've quite enjoyed it. And um, I thought I'd share with you the mechanics of those rules and um, see if you like it too. So the rules themselves, um, I'll just uh, show you a printed out copy. Uh, these are them. Um, by a guy called Steve Danes, uh, published by Alternative Armies. And they're available as a PDF uh, for the summary price of 10 quid uh, English pounds, uh, if you're not in the UK. And uh, very worth it. And we've printed some off just to make life a bit easier uh, when we're playing the game. So let's have a look at some of the fundamentals. So what I've done here is I've set up a, um, a small game and uh, with a French army in the foreground. And uh, if you just look a little bit higher there, I've got my Italian Papal States army uh, on the far side of the table. Um, the French provided by one of the regular games here, Harry. And uh, the Italian Wars, uh, sorry, the Papal State stuff, as you know, is all mine. Um, so I've just uh, set out nothing fancy, no terrain, six by four table fighting uh, along the six foot gap, um, but with, with uh, it shortened by a couple of foot. So we've got them probably only three foot between the, the armies. Um, I'm not looking at tactics here. I'm just looking at showing you how the game works. Um, so uh, we'll deal with the French first and the the way the, the game works. So at the start of each turn, each um, unit rolls a dice and that dice determines the initiative for that particular unit and when that unit will move, fight and shoot in that particular phase. Each unit has um, a roll of 1d6 plus or minus uh, a modifier based on the characteristics of that unit. So to, the, um, to your right, as you can see, this is a, a unit of French gendarmes and we'll roll up their initiative first. They are on a net plus two. So if we roll a one, they will go on to a three. Unit next to them is Ordnance Archers, and they are on a five. Ordnance Archers are plus one, that will go to six. Next to that, we have a unit of French Old Band Pike, and they are on a minus one. So we'll roll the dice for them, and we roll a one, which is fantastic because that shows us um, part of the, the rule set. If you roll a one, and your dice is modified to zero, that means that your unit cannot move, cannot shoot, um, but can fight in self-defense. So this unit of Old Band Pike here is stuck waiting to be hit by somebody else. Thankfully, they're a long way away, so that can't happen this turn. So I'll just move the camera and we'll do the rest of the French. Just move the camera along now and um, just finish the rest of the French off. You can see the unit of Old Bam Pike um, just here. Uh, that's the one that we just rolled a one for. Uh, so we shall continue along the line. French artillery. It works slightly different artillery. We'll come to that during the course of the game. That's rolled a five. Then we have a unit of Lance Neck Pike and they are zero initiative so their dice roll will stick for whatever it is so they're on a five and um finally we've got a unit of um italian uh, sorry uh, adventurers which are basically gascon crossbow and they are a skirmish unit with three bases and they are on a zero two so they are on a five and that concludes the uh, initiative rolls for the french army 
Okay, so moving on to the Italians, and uh, we have a unit of Condottieri uh, friend, sorry, of Condottieri Italian Knights, and they are a net minus one, so they're going to roll a five, so they will go down to four. Next to them is a unit of Familiar Ducal, this is the uh, Borgia Gendarme, as I like to call them, and they are on a zero, so they are on a five. And behind we have a unit of bow-armed Stradiots, and they are on a zero. And uh, you just can't see, it's just rolled in there and between the figures, uh, and they are on a four. So let's move along and cover the rest of the Italian army. So uh, for the Italian army now, we have a unit of Italian pike, uh, Rom, Roman, Roman, uh, yeah, you know, you know what I mean. And they are on a flat dice, so um, whatever they roll is what they get. They rolled a five, doing quite well today. The next unit to that are Swiss, and these are on plus two. So they rolled a two, so they're on four. Next to them is a unit of Italian light cavalry who are on a minus one. So they've rolled a one, so they will get a green circle just to show that they are not going to activate this turn. And finally on the far right we've got a unit of a lance neck shot and they are rolled a one. They however are on par dice, so they remain a one. It means they can move normally, um, but with that one they can only shoot at half effect. So there we go. Um, it's quite a nice, straightforward, simple method of initiative. Um, it's um, relatively quick if you know what you're doing. Um, we've played a game three times, four times bigger than this particular little setup. Uh, I did find it a little bit slow in places, but then we were struggling because we had less players than we normally had. We were doing it with three people most of the time when we probably needed six. So that's no... Um, negative on the rules. I think they're probably been designed for a club night site kind of setup. Maybe not for twelve by six with thousands of figures. Um, but once you get to know all your factors, the system works really quickly. So that we go. That's initiative, and uh, we'll come back shortly, and we will do um, a move. <laughs> 